This is timer 555. It can work as pulse generator or in pulse width modulation applications. In this video we will learn its pinout and connections of how to use it as pulse generator or make pulse width modulation and more, let's see. Pins 1 ground and 8 VCC for input power in our case 12 volt DC. Pin 4 is reset. It is activated when the voltage on it is 0 volt. Pin 3 for output pulses. Pin 5 is control voltage. This pin is used to control comparator thresholds, outputs 2 thirds VCC, allows bypass capacitor connection. Pin 2 trigger. This is used for starting of timing input. When trigger voltage is less than one half control voltage sets output high and discharge open. Pin 7 discharge. This is used as open collector output to discharge timing capacitor. Pin 6 threshold. This is used for ending of timing input. When threshold voltage is higher than control voltage sets output low and discharge low. But how does it work? When a voltage is applied to the VCC and ground pins, in our case, 12 volt, these resistors will split the voltage into 4 volt and 8 volt, with the 4 volt going to the trigger comparator. If the trigger voltage is greater than 4 volt, timing will start, and the 8 volt will go to the threshold comparator. Therefore, if the threshold voltage is greater than 8 volt, timing will stop. This is our circuit. To control the duty cycle, you must control capacitor C. As you can see in this diagram, if you want to change the frequency, you can change the total resistance of resistor A plus 2 resistor B as you see in this chart if the resistance is increased the frequency will increase. Connections Here is our timer 555. First we will connect the VCC and ground to power supply as you see. Connect the two 1 microfarad capacitors to control pin and threshold pin. After that connect the threshold pin to the second pin of potentiometer. Then connect the first pin of potentiometer to the discharge pin. This potentiometer is used to change the resistance. So the frequency will change. After that connect the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor to discharge pin. And the other terminal of it to positive terminal of power supply. Now connect the trigger pin to second pin of potentiometer. Now connect he reset pin to positive voltage. Now we will use our oscilloscope to measure the output on pin 3. As you see when we change the resistance, the frequency of pulses is changed. This mode is called a stable operation. Pulse width modulation is a type of signal which can be produced from a digital IC such as microcontroller or 555 timer. In our case pulse width modulation is controlling the duty cycle of the pulse train output of timer 555. But what is the duty cycle? First you must to know the on time and off time. On time is the signal high voltage of square wave as you see. Off timer is the signal low voltage of square wave as you see. Now you can understand duty cycle. It is the percentage of time in which the PWM signal remains high on time is called as duty cycle. So duty cycle equals turn on time slash, turn on time plus turn off time. 
As you see the following image represents a PWM signal with 50% duty cycle. As you can see, considering an entire time period, on time plus off time, the PWM signal stays on only for 50% of the time period. After understanding the duty cycle, now the pulse width modulation is controlling the duty cycle. As you see in this photo this pulses is modulated. And this is the expected output we must see on oscilloscope. The duty cycle and frequency of a PWM signals are often confused upon. So we put two oscilloscope videos that show the difference between them. Connections First add timer 555 IC. Now we will connect VCC pin 8 and reset pin 4 to positive voltage. And ground pin 1 to ground. Connect the two capacitors long terminals to pin 5 and pin 6. And short terminals to ground. After that we will connect pin 7 to positive voltage through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect potentiometer metal pin to threshold pin 6 and trigger pin 2. After that we we connect the two diode as you see in circuit. Connect your 12 volt DC power supply. The output pulses will be on pin 3. We will measure it using our oscilloscope. Let's try. As you see on oscilloscope, we can control the duty cycle. So the circuit is working. And we can use it now to control or DC motor speed. But there is small component will be added to circuit. This triangle wave is used to modulate the pulse width of this pulses. But how can we do this let's see. This circuit of ICL8038 to produce the triangle waves. This is the triangle wave the output of the ICL8038. As you see we can't change the amplitude. Now we will put amplifier LM741 to amplify the output waves of ICL8038. Now we will add 100 kilo ohm potentiometer. Now connect 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. The first terminal to ground L and the other terminal to inverting input pin 2. Now connect 20 kilo ohm resistor first terminal to out pin 6, the other terminal to resistor 4.7 kilo ohm as you see in circuit. Now connect the ground of our power supply to ground pin 4. Now connect the positive of our power supply to VCC pin 7. Connect the metal terminal of potentiometer to non-inverting input pin 3.
Connect the third terminal of potentiometer to ground. Connect the first terminal of potentiometer to output pin 3 or 2 and ICL8038 pin 2 for sin wave and pin 3 for triangle wave. As you see this the output after connecting the amplifier and we can change the amplitude. Now we will start to connect timer 555. First connect VCC pin 8 and reset pin 4 to positive terminal of power supply. First connect ground pin 1 to negative terminal of power supply. Now connect 2 kilo ohm resistor between pin 7 and pin 8. Now connect 20 kilo ohm resistor between pin 7 and pin 6. Now connect 3.3 nanofarad to pin 6 in ground of power supply. Now connect pin 3 to positive terminal of power supply through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Connect pin 2 trigger to pin 6 as you see in video. Connect power supply positive terminal to second circuit through 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect ground. Now we will connect the output triangle wave of the first circuit to pin 5 and timer through 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we are ready to try. As you see when we move the potentiometer, the triangle wave's amplitude is changed and also the output pulses of timer 555 is changed, if we zoom on this pulses, it will give us this shape. As you see the output pulses from timer 555 will be modulated according to the triangle wave.